There we go, Mr. Toby Keith. I love this bar. You know, Toby Keith is coming to San Antonio for the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo, which is right around the corner in February. You're probably going, Wait, Robert, February is in the... Yes, it is, man. These days are flying by. They really, really are. Here we are two weeks away from Halloween. Here comes Thanksgiving and all that other good stuff. Anyways, good morning, Double R Radio Tuesday morning it is. October the 19th, 2021, live on Facebook. Stop by and say hello, and I'll say hello back, and all that other good stuff. And uh, coming up here, uh, as soon as I'm done taking care of business here, going live, 70 song of the day. Um, let's see here. I think I heated up my coffee. It's too hot. No, that'll work. That's good. That's not too bad. Anyways, let me see here. Do I get everything right? There we go. Good morning, Judd. I got out the double R radio sponsor, Cynthia Gonzalez Ramirez, Houston, Texas, in La Casa, who uh, is going to be taking care of our classic rock song of the day here in just a little bit. Good morning, Judd. I got out the Kathy Sato. I mean, he said, good morning, Roberto. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, let's see what's going on here, man. I got some stuff for y'all here. I got some stuff to talk about here. Now, check this out. Crazy story. Um, Australia. Dananda. Anyways, Australia. Now, Australian officials are trying to vaccinate all the koalas in Australia. That way they would be protected from COVID. But the only problem is that the koalas are not cooperating. That koala not cooperating. That, that rhymes. Well, anyway, the koalas are not cooperating because they have it in their mentality. The koalas, their mentality has it that if they get vaccinated, uh, the shot is going to be given to them down under so uh they don't want no shots down under so um the koalas are not cooperating so look at negotiating negotiations are still going on they got their legal team and uh the the attorneys for uh australia they got their attorneys and as soon as i find out more i will let you guys know okay anyways let's see here what else is going on boom, boom. i there are some some stories here man that you, i can't make up i try making up stories they just do not work check this out arizona a suspect who stole a u-haul truck you know those u-haul trucks that you steal well that you rent and then some people like to steal them like this guy here well anyways this character stole a u-haul truck well police in arizona uh, got suspicious about this u-haul truck started following it around before you know it there are about 10 or 15 police cars chasing this stolen u-haul truck and the suspect somehow some way called 911 and said hey tell your boys to quit chasing me quit chasing me <laughs> well quit stealing trucks and they won't chase you right man who does that uh can you tell your police officers to please quit coming to my place or please not to arrest me i didn't mean to steal the truck i really really didn't it was my other personality not me but my second personality and there you go i don't think that's gonna work i really really don't let's see here what else is going on good morning john i got out the double r radio sponsor sydney martinez hernandez san antonio texas she's got her 70 song of the day coming up next also good morning john i got out to my primo roger reeves good morning drogelio how we doing now let's see here what else is going on boom 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 and mind you, I don't make none of these stories up, although I will try. Now, I get a kick out of this one, man. Check this out. A general in the United States who replaced another senior officer who was accused of sexual assault. He is now being investigated for sexual assault. <laughs> what kind of people are running our nation, man? Come on. A guy replaces another guy for sexual misconduct. And the guy who replaced him is now under investigation for is under investigation for sexual misconduct. What kind of characters do we have here? Anyway, let's see here what else is going on. Da, 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 da. Now check this out. Alabama. After white students displayed a Confederate flag at the school, black students were suspended for planning a protest. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay for the white students to go ahead and put the confederate flag but it's not okay for the black students to protest it kind of crap is that all about man i'm staying the hell away from alabama that's all i know now check this out another crazy story uh, now check this out colorado is tied 
uh, for state with fewest shark attacks. Wait a minute. Colorado. There's not an ocean in Colorado, right? Am I losing? Wait a minute. Colorado's over there. They get snow, but they're up there over there by uh, Mississippi and, right? Georgia and how? I don't get to, unless they're trying to mock this, but Colorado is tied for the state with fewest, because they have no oceans in Colorado. That's why they have no shark attacks. There's no oceans over there. There's no sharks. What's their problem? Anyways, um, check this out. Well, you know what? Before I move forward, I might as well tie it in. Might as well tie it in. Here we go. Corpus Christi, Texas. Right here in my backyard. Let me see here. I don't want to miss anybody here. Are we good to go? Good morning, child. I got out to Seguin Reyes. Seguin Reyes. Seguin's very own star, Reyes. Good morning. She goes, good morning, honey. Ya estamos de cariños y todo. Good morning, honey. Eh? Well, anyway, check this out. Corpus Christi, Texas. Now, a shark. There was a shark attack in Corpus Christi, Texas, but... Here's the kicker on this one. The shark actually bit off a man's genitals. Now, if you don't know what genitals are, I'm not going to spell it no more than that. Genitals. This is a family show. So anyways, a shark. Well, we'll go back. The swimmer decided to swim naked in the ocean. Well, this shark looked up and said, Papa. <laughs> Papa, <laughs> and he, he decided to have Papa, and that he did. The man was taken to the hospital, and, uh, well, uh, he's going to recover, only uh, uh, he won't be having no more Saturday night fever the way he used to have it. Now, the shark was apprehended, and uh, according to authorities, authorities asked the shark, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Why did you bite off this man's genitals? Why did you do it? And the shark was quoted as saying that he hadn't had a shrimp cocktail in a long time. And there you go. Tell you what, it is now time for 70s song of the day. Let me go ahead and give it a plug here real quick. Now, Cindy Martinez Hernandez, San Antonio, Texas, sponsor to Double R Radio, has chosen a song that would, that uh, went number one in the year 1977. And even more so, this band right here was actually discovered by Maurice White of Earth, Wind, and Fire. This song right here went number one back in the year 1977. 70s song of the day. Let's do it. Good morning. How we doing, everybody? Here we are, Tuesday morning. Blah, blah, ba da ba da ba da ba uh, what do I got here? We'll go over here. I think we're good to go over here. Good morning, shout out to Primo, Tony Rivas. He said, good morning, Primo. Good morning, Tony. Hopefully everything's going well. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. RobertRevisRadio.com. Simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Just click on that media player button, and you'll be joining me in vivo. Right now, playing 70 Song of the Day, The Emotions, Best of My Love. 